next story is on cascading learning. Uh, an owner of a company visited um, a training right here and he recognized, okay, I, um, I learned something about the new technique and this is quite interesting for, for my employees. And he thought about, okay, um, which employees should I inform and in, in which way? And he, he uh, found several uh, potential people from his company, but they are all working in different places, distributed, and he recognized that it's quite difficult to bring them all together and to, to inform them in, in a way. So he thought, okay, uh, maybe I could send an, an email or another form of digital media, but he has some, some doubts where, where the people take up the, the information, the, the knowledge properly, and so he decided to, uh, to arrange a, a large meeting, a large meeting of all employees uh, every three months. And in these meetings he uh, distributes uh, all the relevant knowledge and everybody exchanges, so it's a, it's a big exchange event. Uh, but nevertheless, he, he also thought that it would be better to, to have more efficient ways, more efficient ways because these these big team meetings of the large company cost a lot of money, a lot of time and a lot of effort and uh, on the one side, but on the, on the other side of, of course it's important for socializing, exchanging informally, uh, but he would appreciate very much uh, more innovative and new ideas for distributing and cascading uh, knowledge, new aspects.